Welcome to video 7 on how we can use Transport Fever 2 as a model railway simulator. By default, Transport Fever 2 flips a train around when it runs into a dead end and leaves again such that it always drives forward on the main track. Yeah, this can be nice for transport fever, but it's not the behavior that we like if we are simulating a model railway. We want the locomotive to stay where it is and the train to drive backwards. Luckily, this is possible via a plug-in, which is called Force Always Reverse. To find this plugin, go to the Steam website and from there Community Workshop. In the workshop we find Transport Fever 2 by typing Fever and there it is in the list. Yeah, there we are. And then uh, again do a search now for the plugin and that uh, was Force Reverse that should be enough to find it let's have a look yeah there we are and this plugin force always reverse that is the one that we are looking for now press this subscribe button i already am subscribed and once you press that button then uh, it will download and install in the appropriate folder on your pc automatically and when you start transport fever you have it available here we are looking at our cargo train and it is now on the way to its dead end and once it is there we will have a look at the default behavior first the mod is not yet installed here it is it is now driving into this dead end track and it is going to make a stop over here and then when it reverses and most probably what we will see is that the locomotive will go to the other yeah you saw the locomotive flipped to the other end and yeah that is not what you like when you are uh, simulating a model railway so now let's install the mod and see what behavior we get uh, then i clicked the menu button here in the top right and let's now go to load game which uh, gives us the option to select a new mod uh, let's find the force always reverse that we installed already but not yet activated uh, right now it is in the green so it should be here in the list yeah it is if i now start this um, layout then it loads this new module with it uh, however this module uh, only applies to new trains not existing ones so we have to remove the train and then place it again okay so this train is now driving around over here but it is the existing train and the module only works for new created trains so i first have to get rid of this train let's click manage a vehicle and over here we have these icons but there is no delete icon there is however a sell icon i can get money if i sell this train well i'm not interested in the money but i click yes and gone is this train let's now make a new one click the depot buy vehicles uh, find that diesel train over here buy it and also find a couple of cargo trains uh, where are they over here and one two three four buy that complete train put it on the cargo shuttle and bleep it says everything is okay so let's get out of here and now uh, have a look at our new train which is driving out of the depot well let's fast forward this video a little bit and see the behavior of this new train it should now not flip around anymore here we have our new created cargo train and it is on its way to the dead end at the station and 
With the module installed and a new train created, the behavior that we should get is that the train reverses back out of that dead end, not uh, that the train is suddenly going to flip to the other end, uh, or the locomotive is going to flip to the other end of the train. Uh, maybe I have to look a little bit more from above, then we can see that really happening. So the locomotive is over there. It is now with the module installed and look what happens. It neatly drives backwards out of this dead end. Exactly what you would have on a model railway. So this module is doing its job. The only little quirk uh, that you have is you uh, can get it working only on new created trains after the module was installed. Well, that's not a big deal if you install the model before you start building, then all will be okay. Thank you for watching and maybe see you back in a future video. In the meantime, as always, have fun!